Now, for decades, it's been assumed that oil and solar are separate or even competing sources of energy. However, technological developments mean we could be on the verge of a future where some of the biggest solar projects in the world operate within oil fields. Nazanin Mushiri visited the Mirar project in Oman, where the country's biggest oil and gas producer is teaming up with Glass Point Solar to not only enhance oil production with solar energy, but also reduce carbon emissions and costs. In Amman's desert, these workers are constructing what will be one of the world's largest solar plants, Mira, which means mirror in Arabic. Glass Point, the company behind the project, is working with the country's largest oil and gas producer, Petroleum Development Oman, or PDO, on this landmark project that uses solar energy to support oil production. Could you just explain what's going on here right now, Badia? Yes. Uh, we are installing the, the, the wall side glasses and um, the crew here behind me, they are installing the glasses and securing it with the frames. And how important is that for this project? It is important because we need to uh, protect the whole thing here with this giant glass house to protect it from wind, um, dust and rains. The president and CEO of Glass Point, Rod McGregor, says they use these lightweight mirrors which make the project easier to deploy and less costly. What's unique about the mirror project is its use of what we call enclosed trough. That's the idea of putting solar inside a glass house. It's the first time it's been done at full scale. Second thing that makes mirror very unique is the absolute scale that we're building at. It's over 1,000 megawatts of peak energy production. It will take 6,000 tonnes of water and boil it every day. This is what the glass houses will look like when they're finished. Glass Point's pilot project has already been operating successfully for several years. Its curved mirrors track the sun and pinpoint the light on these steel pipes. The energy created is more than a hundred times greater than the desert sun outside. The pipes carry water, which is boiled into steam. The solar pilot project generates around 50 tonnes of emission-free steam every day. And thanks to this glass house structure, it can happen even when there are dust and sandstorms. Getting oil out of the earth is an energy-intensive and polluting process. PDO, a pioneer in implementing new technology, was seeking a more sustainable and cost-effective solution. From a technology point of view, it, it's simple, effective, reliable, and that's key. But in terms of the impact it has, a third of our portfolio needs a, is, a, is effectively composed of heavy and viscous uh, oils that require thermal applications, in this case, uh, steam. Um, and the requirement is for the next 20, 30, 40, 50 years. Oman currently uses almost a quarter of its natural gas to recover heavy crude oil. Glass Point's project engineer says the world is looking for alternative methods. What was happening traditionally is uh, the oil and gas industry was going for the easy to extract uh, oil. And that's what we've been doing for the last uh, probably 40 years in Oman. And that, uh, that reservoir of, of light crude is, is becoming more scarce and scarce. So we have to look at the other alternatives or the, we have to go and get the more difficult oil right now. And it's, it's a trend you can see all over the world. And uh, a lot of companies are putting a lot of money in investing in technologies related to enhanced oil recovery. And what we're doing is a specific type of enhanced oil recovery, it's called thermal. And what Glass, do, uh, Glass Point is doing especially, it's called solar enhanced uh, oil recovery. And Glass Point so far is the only one in the industry to have that technology. Glass Point's technology places it in a unique position, bridging renewable and traditional energy resources. The two companies are working together to develop a solar industry out of Oman's oil producing roots. Mirar is just the beginning of Oman's solar energy ambitions. We have very limited uh, natural gas resources in the country. So we need these valuable uh, resources to make uh, 
uh, to save it for electricity generations and for other industries as well. And we can use the solar energy for making the steam for the oil and gas industry. Mira will also reduce carbon dioxide emissions by 300,000 tonnes per year, which is like removing 63,000 cars from the road. Could not be more proud than this. Being part of um, the Gulf where we've got the massive uh, sun energy that has not been um, efficiently used yet. The potential for Glass Point and its solar oil field projects are huge. Its solar steam technology could be used around the world and for other thermal operations too, from crude stabilization to desalinization. While the oil and gas industry looks for new ways to meet rising energy demand, these mirrors and glass houses are offering a cheaper, cleaner way of extracting it.